Hi everyone! Today I am participating in the DIY Valentine's Day Mailbox Challenge that is being hosted by Tracy at Secondhand Tracy Ann. So if you'd like to see what I did, stay tuned! Hi, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. If you're new to my channel, I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. And in today's video, I am participating in a mailbox challenge that has been created by Tracy of Secondhand Tracy Ann. Please be sure to check out her channel as well as the playlist, which I'll have linked down below. For this challenge, Tracy wanted us to decorate our mailbox for Valentine's Day. Now, I live in a community where we are actually not allowed to put anything on our mailboxes. So this was re really, really a challenge for me. So I actually decided to create a little mailbox display on my porch. And in fact, I made over a mailbox I found at the Target Dollar Spot and I had another video that I showed you um, how I did that. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll put a link in the iCard above um, so that you can look at that. But um, for this challenge, she wanted, Tracy wanted us to use a few things to decorate the mailbox. So the first was a nine foot pine garland that she fold into thirds to make a swag for the mailbox. The second was a Valentine's Day garland and I actually will have a DIY at the end of this video showing you how I created my garland because I didn't want to purchase another garland for this particular uh, display. Um, the third thing she wanted you to have was some kind of floral picks, clips, that sort of thing to carry out the Valentine theme. And then the last thing she wanted was some kind of ribbon bow topper for your display. So I hope you like what I came up with. I think I did pretty well considering I couldn't use my actual mailbox for this challenge. So let me know once you've seen it, what you think about it. And if you do end up liking it, please give me a thumbs up. And now without further ado, I'm going to show you my mailbox display. So here is my finished mailbox and I have all the elements. I have the mailbox, I have the garland, I have the evergreen swag, and I have some floral picks, and a bow topper. It may be a little different than what Tracy intended, but it was the best I could do, given the fact that I cannot decorate my actual mailbox. So let me take you on a tour starting at the bottom. This is an old pot that I had. I used to have it sitting on my porch with some flowers in it, and I got rid of that a, f a few years ago, but um, I did keep this pot. And inside the pot, let me see if I can show you this. Down here, there is paper that I have received inside of Amazon packages, other packages I've gotten in the mail. And I am using that to help hold the post for the mailbox in place. And then on top of the paper, I have placed the evergreen swag. And in the swag, I have added some gold taupe color Queen Anne's lace florals that I got at Christmas time from Dollar Tree. I have three bunches of them in there. And then in on top of that, I have put this garland that I made. I just freehanded some hearts onto some gold scrapbook paper that I had around the house and then I strung them on this black and white polka dot curly ribbon that I also had on hand. And then I have attached my bow to the post for the mailbox. Since I thought it would be overwhelming to have the bow sitting on the actual top of this mailbox that I created. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link it for you in an iCard 
so that you can see how I redid this mailbox from the Target dollar spot. But that is my DIY Valentine's mailbox for this year. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I thought it might also be helpful for those of you who don't actually have a traditional style mailbox. Maybe you have a mailbox that's on the wall of your house or you have a mail slot near your door, and, but you still wanted to create a Valentine's Day mailbox. So I do hope you found this helpful. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I do post, as I mentioned, several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below or the icon in the corner of this video. And to those of you who are current subscribers, thank you for continuing to support my channel and I hope to see you all next time. Take care everyone. Bye bye and happy Valentine's Day. To create the heart garland, you need scissors, a hole punch, a pencil, which is optional, some scrapbook paper, and some ribbon. Now this is a piece of scrapbook paper. I'd already cut off another piece. I'm just folding it into quarters, in half, cutting it, and then in half again to create some rectangles that are approximately the shape I want to use for the heart. Now this first one, I'm going to freehand half of a heart shape onto the paper and use that as a guide to cut. So if you aren't confident in your cutting skills, you can do this or even trace around a, a template of some sort. But if you are confident in your cutting skills, you can fold the paper in half and then freehand cut the half heart, which I'm doing here. And you can cut the curves easily by moving the paper rather than the scissors. Now I'm just cutting about a six foot length of ribbon. I'm going to fold over the heart, hole punch through both sides, which will give you two holes, and then thread it on to the ribbon and do this with all of my hearts.